Imagine a world where humans merge with technology, a reality where boundaries between human biology and artificial intelligence blur. This isn't a plot of a science fiction movie, but a philosophical and intellectual movement known as transhumanism. Transhumanism, at its core, advocates for the use of technology to enhance human physical and cognitive abilities, with the ultimate goal of immortality. But how did this concept arise? And what implications does it hold for our society today? To understand this, we journey back to the early 20th century. The seeds of transhumanism were first sown by J.B.S. Haldane, a British geneticist, in his essay, Daedalus Science and the Future, penned in 1923. He predicted that advancements in science would bring about radical changes in human life, including the concept of ectogenesis, or artificial wombs. Fast forward a few decades to the 1960s, the term transhumanism was coined by Julian Huxley, a biologist and brother of the famous author Aldous Huxley. Julian believed in the potential of humans to transcend their biological limitations through technology. In the late 20th century, transhumanism gained momentum with the rise of the digital age. The advent of the internet, artificial intelligence and nanotechnology gave a new dimension to the transhumanist thought. Visionaries like Ray Kurzweil predicted that humans would merge with machines in the near future, a concept called the singularity. In the 21st century, transhumanism has moved from the realm of science fiction to a tangible reality. Today we see the manifestation of this philosophy in various forms, from anti-aging research aimed at extending human lifespan, to neurotechnology that promises to enhance human cognition, to artificial limbs that restore or even augment human capabilities. Every day, new discoveries and advancements bring us closer to the transhumanist vision. But this progress also brings with it ethical and societal challenges. Questions about the accessibility of these technologies, the potential for a new kind of inequality, and the very definition of what it means to be human, are now more relevant than ever. In conclusion, transhumanism traces its roots back to the early 20th century, growing alongside advancements in technology and science. It has evolved from a theoretical concept into a practical reality that is increasingly relevant in our society today. As we stand on the brink of unprecedented technological advancements, the transhumanist vision of a future where humans transcend their biological limitations is not just a possibility, but a probability. But as we stride towards this future, we must also grapple with the profound ethical and societal questions that it raises. The future of transhumanism holds promise and peril. It's a testament to human ingenuity and ambition, but it also forces us to confront the very essence of our humanity. The journey of transhumanism, from a fringe concept to a potentially transformative force, is a fascinating tale of human progress and ambition. But where this journey will take us, only time will tell.